Well, after yesterday's video, I owe you guys some fish. Today, we're hoping to accomplish just that. Today, we are actually gonna be heading to the river, but not the same river, and not for the same species of fish. Today, we're gonna be doing a little bit of creek fishing, and we're gonna be going after bass. Bass, bluegill, maybe some fall fish, whatever is honestly in there is what we're gonna be targeting. That's the main goal. I'm excited, I've never been to this part of the river before. We'll have a bit of a walk to get there. It's plugged in, let's go and head over, I'll see you guys there. All right, well, oh. Okay, as I expected, there's not too many people here, which is good. Uh, let's park on that side because I feel like it. We gotta take a trail to the river. First, we gotta put these guys on because we're not playing around. I'm not actually 100% sure on where I'm even supposed to go. On Google Maps, I think, yeah, Company Mill Trail, I think is what I'm looking for here. And that's the trail I gotta go on <clears throat> to get there. So I'm gonna go on that trail, which should be right here. I'm not exactly sure how far it is, but uh, I'm curious, I'm interested. Beautiful, beautiful Wednesday, not too many people out. It's a cloudy day today, you gotta love cloudy days when you're uh, out walking or doing something, so yeah. My plan is to go to this part of the creek and I'm gonna work my way downstream. Let me see what the sign says. Um, yeah, really don't care, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go to this upper part of the creek and then I'm gonna work my way down. Um, I saw some catches on fish brand and I was like, dude, that place looks sick. I gotta go there. I hit the dude up. I was like, yo, is this so-and-so? And he's like, yep, we're gonna go try it out for ourselves because I figured why not park in the parking lot and just hike, hike over a little bit. No water, no food, no snacks. I don't need any of that stuff though. And uh, I'm also filming with my phone, by the way, in case you couldn't tell by now with the audio and the quality. Um, Definitely even the camera behind on this one. I left my camera in the car because, not not unintentionally, completely intentional. And uh, man, dude, look at it. It is a beautiful, beautiful day out today. Not a, not a sunshine in the sky. All right, I think I hear water. We are getting closer. We are in the thick of it now and there's no going back. Four freaking miles later, Jesus. I see a split in the trees. Do you guys know what a split in the trees means? It means water. So, look, here's the split. Well, you can't really see it on the camera or not. But I hear water. <sighs> Nobody? Nobody around? I'm gonna put my phone in my bag. Just so I don't drop it. Oh, there's a fish. There, oh no, he came off. Dude, I look like a freaking rock bass. Well, to be fair, I think I picked a good spot because where there's a heron sitting above in the trees, there's usually some fish as well. There he is. There we go. Look at this aggressive guy. Jeez. That right there is an aggressive aggressive sunfish looks like he actually got bit by something else as well honestly a bird might have gotten to him he's got some bruises there see you later that right there is our first fish of the day and to be honest it's not like i'm not expecting that i'm definitely expecting to catch some bluegill today but i'm also expecting to catch some bass i feel like some nice sized bass would go a long way and i really do think we can do it that was a pretty pretty good sized gill as well, or sunfish for a little creek like this. Not a bad size. Oh, that's a bass. That's a bass and a nice sized fish too. That is a nice sized bass. Oh my goodness, that is a, that was a quality bass. I mean, it wasn't a giant, but for this, hold on. Oh, oh, that's not the bass though. That's not the freaking bass. There's a bass right there. Dude, there's a bass right there. Look at the size of this freaking... What is this? Is this a, it's a long ear. This is a long ear sunfish. Dude, this is a quality long ear sunfish. But there's a bigger bass in there that I'm trying to catch. Okay, I got it out. All right, see you later, buddy. I don't want to spook the bass. Dude, there's a freaking bass in there. I don't know how I didn't see him, but I didn't. Come on. It's pretty chilly. Whew. 
Man, that is some cold water. Jesus. The one thing I didn't bring was an extra pair of shorts. I'm going to put my rod down over there. And then try and use this rooster tail. Because I think the rooster tail is the key to catching fish here. Oh, there we go. Look at this guy. Is that a bass? Nope, it was a bluegill. <laughs> and now he's gone. That's our third fish. All right, I think the main goal for today is to just look for pockets like that again. Pockets where there's going to be slow moving, warmer water. There could also definitely be something in that eddy right there. Oh, right there, right there. I got, hit, I got hit big time. I think that was a bass. There we go. Oh, it's not a freaking bass though. Jeez. That's our, what, fourth fish of the day? It's not a bass. Not what we're looking for. But it is welcome. Alright, I gotta loosen that up a little bit. Sorry, buddy. This right here, I believe, is our fourth fish of the day. We've caught like two different species. I think we've caught long ear sunfish and just like another sunfish, another species. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. That is the smallest bass I've ever seen in my entire life. That is hilarious. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. It honestly looked like a pickerel. Actually, wait, now that I think about it, that was a freaking pickerel, dude. Oh my gosh, now that I think about it, that was a redfin pickerel. That was actually a pickerel. Uh, another sunfish. Different species, but... <clears throat> Still another sunfish. Oh my. Oh, I got him. I still have him. And it's another freaking Gillaroonie. I mean, these are all incredibly healthy fish, though. I mean, it's honestly kind of blowing my mind just how healthy these fish are. Come on, that's gotta be a bass. That has gotta be a freaking bass. Oh my gosh, nope, it's just a gigantic. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is easily the biggest fish of the day and the hardest fighter. I was like, I thought surely this was a bass. Nope, it's just another long ear. I don't remember what the last one was. I'm assuming it was probably also a long ear. Oh my god, look at that big ass snake right there. Jesus. I've also got a fish. A big old freaking snake right there. I think it's a water snake. Oh my god, another gigantic bluegill. There's that snake. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna back up a little bit. There's a snake right there. I've got a fish. I think it's a water snake, but just in case it's a oh no, I don't think copperheads swim. But it's a gigantic freaking snake. Like a huge one. I almost wanna no, nah, I can't feed him. You don't want to feed wild animals because then they'll get used to humans and you don't want that. Especially for a snake because a lot of humans will just kill snakes for no no good. I don't know where he's at but I'll just throw it in that general direction. If that's what he's doing, if he is hunting, then he is in the right spot. He is definitely in the right spot if that's what he's doing. Another one. Okay, well that guy came off. Another one, man. He needs to get back over here if he wants to catch a fish. I'm gonna try and catch like one more fish in his pocket. Oh my goodness, as soon as it hit the freaking water. What in the world? As soon as it hit the water, these sunfish are insanely aggressive. Jesus. Alright, I gotta get out of this pocket because this is all I'm catching. And honestly, it's fun. But I want to catch a freaking bass. Here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm catching nothing but gigantic long ear sunfish in this pocket here. As you can see, there's a dam here uh, created by some wood that fell down. And there's more river down there, uh, but I'm actually going to save that for another day. I'm going to save that for when I head out here because I'm definitely, definitely coming back. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back up to that first pocket, the very first pocket I fished, uh, where I saw the only bass of the day. That was really the only place I saw like a, a really big, like quality sized bass. So I'm going to get up there and my main goal before I leave is to catch a bass. So I'm going to head up to that, that very, very, very first pocket that's a little bit far away in hopes to catch a bass. So. There we go. There we freaking go. What did I say? Oh, land this fish. Land this fish. Come here. Come here. Let's go. What did I say? Oh my goodness. That's a... Okay. Stop. There we go. I told you. I told you we would get one. Ah. Uh. Gotta get it out of the corner of his mouth. Got it perfectly in there. The species that we were targeting. Okay, I, I'll be honest. It's not a giant fish at all. It's actually a pretty small one. But out of this creek, you know what? They'll take any bass of any size out of this creek. So, you have to... You just gotta accept a fish of that size. Beautiful coloring, too. Very healthy fish. Let's get him back in the water. Good stuff. All right, well, uh, I've been out here for a few hours now. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap this one up after I caught that bass. I uh, fished for a little bit longer. Haven't really gotten anything yet. I'm gonna take a few more casts, but I'm gonna film my outro now. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, go and check out my Delaware River series that I did uh, about a year ago, a little over a year ago. And uh, maybe check out some of my other river videos if you enjoyed this one, because uh, it was a really special one to film today. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad I, able, I was able to get out here. I mean, it's a beautifully beautiful spot, beautiful day. It's a Wednesday, no one was out here, so. It was a great day today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you liked the video, hit that dislike button if you disliked the video. And uh, yeah, I'll be sure to get more out. Uh, in the meantime, I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow or hereafter, but I'll definitely be coming back to this spot soon. This is a crazy day. Lots of lots of action. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely going to have to hit this spot up again. But I'm going to keep this outro short and sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, folks, capture moments, create memories. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.